YouTube, what the crap's going on? Welcome back to the Carthage campaign where we are busting up some rebel scum. And uh, that's going to be done here by... I'm just going to call him General Utica because that first name has way too many consonants for me. Um, <laughs> let's get things started. Uh, speaking of, you all are leaving comments about me leaving watchtowers out here to help make sure the rebel stacks don't spawn. That's a good idea. I'll try and do that while we're out here. Again, if you are leaving comments, it may seem like I am slow to respond to them in video because I am recording these many days ahead of where I'm releasing them. And although I got a little bit off schedule last week, my objective is to do this so that I can release these at the same time every day, make it predictable and fun for people to watch together for the first time, kind of like a TV show. And for those who can't join to watch it at the same time it releases, it's fine, it's still there, <clears throat> and it is completely like any other video, and so pretty much no change to them. Uh, so I'm hoping, like I said, that we can do this and kind of make it the uh, best of both worlds for people. All right. Well, these rebel scum are indeed rebel scum. Is their general really going to YOLO us? Well, I mean, I know rebels are dumb, but YOLOing an armored spear doesn't really suit them, but they are free to do it. And we didn't even counter charge. Well done, rebel scum. Well done. My uh, Libyan infantry are going to uh, melt this unit like butter. Libyans are attacking their Iberians, and my cavalry is now running down the skirmishers on the flank, and that is the end of this battle in a big hurry. Uh, I do need to continue for just a second. I just gotta run down a few more of these routers. There we go. I just wanna make sure this army disappears in its entirety. So I'm just going to run down as many of these units as we can here. There we go. That should be that. Victory lies in your grasp. Right. They had one soldier remaining. <laughs> we sent him home to tell the tale of what happened here this day and discourage othering others from following in their footsteps. You always leave one survivor to go back and, and to sow fear into your enemies, right? <laughs> Let's stick a watchtower here while we're at it. Confirm. That'll at least help some of this area. Let's go over here and attack this other rebel general here. Now, uh, someone mentioned that we could do this with an army that doesn't have a general and then hopes that someone gets promoted. And I was like, that's actually pretty clever. It's a pretty clever idea. So I might do that where it makes sense to... Um, so I love the ideas you all are coming up with. Like I said, please continue to suggest things. Uh, I may be a bit late in, you know, responding to it in terms of on a video, but I will respond to it. This is going to be interesting up here. <laughs> There's a lot of Britons in this army. I hope those two hidden units aren't chariots, but they very well could be because one of them's the general. So I don't know. Let's end our turn. See what happens. I would think the... I would have thought the Broody Eye were going to attack me there. They they didn't? Huh. Okay, all right. So let's walk a little faster. Get moving. Macedonians are sending assassins after the Broody Eye. That's good stuff. Oh, I love that sound, too. Like, that kind of clubbing sound. All right. So we are defending against Britannia. They do not have a family member here. It is just Joe Dirt Warbands with some swordsmen and some chosen swordsmen. So, I mean, these guys are going down. There's no way they win this. My units have some chevrons and some upgrades, so they'll be they'll be doing just fine for themselves. Let's fight this battle. If this is the best that Britannia has to offer, they're going to be relatively easy to conquer. Um, if we suddenly start running into stacks of head hurlers and heavy chariots, even with our best of troops, it's going to get ugly. Like, back in the day, in multiplayer at least, in the hands of a skilled player, the Britons were definitely not the toughest faction, but they were dangerous. They were dangerous. 
I don't know what about a human head um, is armor piercing, but the game at least used to think so. I don't know if they rebalanced things, but um, holy crap, man. Head hurlers can rip through armor like it's going out of style, and um, it's pretty impressive <laughs> the damage that they're able to cause. And then, of course, the heavy chariots in this game have always been strong, and understandably so, especially against infantry targets. Whether or not it's, like, perfectly historically accurate, I don't know, but, you know, it's... Heavy chariots, um, I like the way they play in the game. They're kind of a hard counter to infantry, and I just, I like the way they play. I'm gonna do a similar strategy to what we have been doing, which is I'm gonna try and overwhelm one flank, and then I will hold the other flank, like kind of fold it back and hold. We are being approached already by the Britons here. I'm gonna war cry this unit. Ready to run a charge. And I need to fold this flank back and defend. This counter charge here while the AI is a little bit discombobulated. A uh, very odd shaped charge going on here right now. I'm gonna see if I can get a decisive blow here. Counter charge there. Let's help out. So oh, good. That was an Iceni unit routing, not my own. Okay, we got a route going here. Let's use our infantry to fix these chosen swords and then move my cavalry through. Get on the flank there. Back up, back up, back up. Don't get overextended here. Don't get overextended. Okay. Swing back around and try and kill these chosen swords. And all we're going to do with their cavalry, in fact, I'm going to swing one unit back around here to plug this gap. Let's reform here. I think it's just important at this point not to get um, not to get routed in any one spot. If we can just kind of keep holding the line here. Okay, we've got that chosen swordsman dead. Means we can start pushing back this way. I think we're in pretty good shape. This sword unit could do well against my uh, Iberian, so I'm gonna double up some cab into there just to kind of help overwhelm the uh, Britons in that fight. Okay, there it worked. All right, we can fall back with these units. All right, let's reform our infantry and get ready for another charge. I got another warband rolling through. Give a little support here. Actually, it's too late. We already won that. Good. My Iberians are really doing some admirable work in this campaign. And when they get upgraded, they seem to do even better, obviously. Alright, I think we've got a general mass route going on over here. I'm going to start pushing. I'm going to take my general to join in on it. Yeah, and we're going to start cutting down the uh, the Britons in huge numbers. Yeah, their warbands just uh, weren't up to snuff for this fight, that's for sure. We're not up to par. Attack this unit of warbands, start running people down. Sometimes you gotta kind of force your cavalry, like they get kind of stuck on the edge of a routing unit, and you have to correct their course in order to start getting them mopping up. It'd be a very nice pile of blue bodies from here to the edge of the map. Alright, yeah, look at look at the uh, pile of corpses stringing out from here to the edge of the map. 
Get up here. Catch these guys. Get them. Move over a little. Give a new attack order there. Get one attack order up here on these swordsmen. Oh, too many of them are going to get away there. Not happy about that. More coming. Get them. Jump them. All right. I think the uh, enemy captain went down there, and that's going to be pretty much the end of it. Let's exit this battle. Excellent success there. Absolutely fantastic. This is why you bring light cavalry, folks. Look at that. 639 kills. One of the light cavalry. One of my Iberians racked up for 27. 703. That round shield. So, yeah, it's definitely some stellar work there. All right. So that is excellent because we took very low losses. Let's see if they have another army over here. They do. This one is in hiding. <clears throat> very well could have been the remnants of the last one I fought. I'm going to go ahead and lay in a siege here. Maintain the siege. And then I'm going to pull these two. Actually, I'm going to just chase these guys down. Auto resolve this. It gave them way more casualties than they deserved on that. It's pretty irritating. But <clears throat> we now have them sieged in pretty hard. And this is their only foothold on the, the mainland. They're going to be um, stuck on their islands out here, and so that's, that's good news for us. We can kind of trap them in out there. This army can now make it um, to Narbo. I don't think it can quite make it into the settlement on this turn. So we'll stop just short, and I'll move the garrison out, move this army in, retrain it, and we'll get ready to go. Messana. Oh, someone was saying that there is a see, is it gameplay settings? Mastered camera, reset advisor, recommended. Audio setting, game setting. Gameplay settings. What said there's a setting somewhere where I can make it to where the, the settlements don't get auto-managed? Settlement. I've been a comment somewhere. Now I'm just trying to remember where it's at. Um, is it up here? No, that's just our menu. And I already looked in here under settings. Be under controls. Was, I mean, if anywhere, I would have thought it would have been here. Open the advanced settings. Here we go. Maybe? Realistic governance. There we go. Uncheck that. And confirm. Go back. Exit out of here. So now we should be able to manage all of our settlements without it having to be auto-managed. Which means that we can now take care of like tax rates and stuff maybe a little better. So let's look, look at Palma, for instance. And let's open this up. I don't have a governor here. They're on a very high tax rate. Just change that down a little. Keep them from being as angry. But I'll keep it at very high for now because no one's rioting, right? So they're close to it. Not quite. I don't know. We'll just go ahead and drop it. So this will give me the ability to better control public order, essentially. So I'm glad. Thank you for the folks reminding me of this. It's just been a long time, and I didn't always remember where these settings were at. So I'm going to just take a look at some of these more unhappy settlements and attempt to... Yeah, see, these guys are already on the lowest tax rate. So not much I can do about Alicia. They're just angry. they just angry. <laughs> they might need a good executing. Um, kind of like we did to the uh, the people of Cordoba. 
They're no longer rioting, by the way. Definitely solved the problem. And here too, Nepte. Where, why, why are you running, rebels? So tough, why do you keep coming out here and... Oh my gosh, it's peasants. I'm gonna fight this, because if I don't, it'll give the peasants a whole bunch of free kills, and I just don't really feel like putting up with that. So, I'm going to take care of some of this personally. This is a day of battle! We will stand await my orders. Let's start our deployment. We got these rocks right here in the middle. Yeah, I kind of figured they would deploy up here on the hill. Makes sense. They're not going to win regardless, but gives them what they think is the best chance. I'm gonna move up my Libyan Spears. Alright, let the attack commence. The great peasant slaying. Peasants have, uh, I don't see any chevrons or anything. And let the official massacre begin. What kind of rebel leader convinces all these peasants to come follow his cause only so that they can come out here and become, like, fertilizer in the desert? My Libyans have really good shields, so I'm gonna send them over to uh, face the face the uh, Numidian cavalry. All right, well we can at least pad the kill counts for our long shields. There we go. Yeah, so they can throw their javelins at my spearmen all day long. They are out of javelins now as well. My uh, Libyans have very good shields. Alright, all those peasants are dead. All those peasants are dead. And the Numidian cavalry is running a fruitless attack against my Libyan spears. And they will be massacred for their trouble. Nibidi and Cav are some excellent light cavalry, but they're not going to be any match for an armored spear unit. There we go. There, I figured that I would get less casualties if I had to resolve that one. Not that it really matters a whole lot, but sometimes, you know, just a little bit of pride in your work. You have there, you just, you can't stand the AI getting all those freebies. Victory is ours, mighty one. Orders. I think I'm gonna drop in another... Oh, we can get elephants back here too. Mercenary, war elephants. Not necessary at the moment, but... Build tower. Just gonna put a couple of towers out here to try and prevent rebel stacks from spawning. Um, as this seems to be a popular area for which the uh, spawns to happen. So we have cleaned up all the rebels that I can see in Africa, so that'll provide us some... I'm gonna drop i I'm gonna do the same thing over here, I'm gonna drop in a watchtower here, again, just give myself visibility along the road. Let's head to Cyrene. So this is good, this is good. We got um, a lot of good stuff going on. We got a lot of cash built up too. I cannot believe that the Broody Eye did not try and break the siege here. 
I expected that they would be quite scared and attempt to break the siege. I've got to rebuild the uh, garrison here at Terran Tomb because the Romans bought it off with their filthy little diplomat here. Look at this, he didn't have any diplomacy skill, but I mean, to be fair, it was just a Roman town, so maybe it doesn't take all that much work, but I'm insulted. <laughs> I stand uh, insulted. Um, so there we go. All right, got that done. Ship's ready. I've got my leaders on these boats here. I'm going to... I've got all three settlements of Sicily. They have a leader. I kind of think I'm going to do... I'm going to take one of them off the ships here at Careless. And have him govern here. And I'm going to escort this boat with my others. I don't want this guy to die. I really need to retrain these fleets, but for now I'm going to just kind of use him as an escort. And I want to go drop this other one off up here that maybe hope to help in the uh, the barbarian campaigns here. Speaking of, we should take a look at uh, Bamilcar, our faction leader. And um, probably do this uh, traits and followers things, right? Um, and move them over. I, hang on, where was this tool? It was... Move followers, yeah. So, I'm thinking... I want to move a bunch of stuff from him over to this younger guy that's following with here, Juba. So basically, I'm going to take a look at Bamilcar's followers, and anything that shows one turn would probably be... Um, sorry, I'm going to go to Juba. And then find all the stuff that says one turn. And that should be... All the followers we can move over from Bamilcar. Yeah, so see, like, Galloper, Mercenary Captain, other guy there, Roman Turncoat, that's an appropriate follower. I can't move the Wise Man, because he already has a follower. Okay, Priest of Milkware, and we already have a Wise Man here. Okay, good. Let's confirm that. We're going to move it on over. That way, if he dies soon, the followers can be passed on uh, to Juba. And they will remain intact with my armies. We see a training troops. My liege. I half wonder if I go ahead and drop a watchtower in right here, too, but I can't. We can't build it in their territory. Okay, um, let's take a look at the building situation. Careless can finally be upgraded. Carthago Nova. I don't have any characters over here, so I'm going to focus in on, like, temples and other stuff. I, I'm just not doing any recruiting in this area either, so recruiting's not terribly important for me there. Bizarre, because it'll make me some money. Grand Bazaar. Nothing we can do at Nepte because we're waiting on growth. Lamonum. I'm going to just train whatever we want at Lamonum at this point. Dunum finally finished growing, so we got work to do there. And then Siwa, because we massacred the populace, there's not much to be done here. Put in at Siwa. I don't even know if we have enough population here to replenish. Yeah, we're out of population. <laughs> That's funny. So I'm going to start marching peasants down here to Libya. I'm going to keep training them. and transfer a little population. If we attack another settlement, we could always enslave it, and it'll spread it out to some of these places. Um, and then see how that works. So i got a retraining to do. Fleet over here. Did my fleet get... Oh, no, here it is. I don't want my fleet to get bushwhacked here by all these enemies. A am I in port? I am. Ready to so I think technically I'm safe because I'm in port here. So the port does need to be upgraded. 
to really repair more of my ships, but I'm gonna leave those boats there just so they don't get wrecked for now. Give me army route. Ooh, a suitable husband. Excellent. Um, where are the marriage celebrations? In Carthage! We just sent a boat out. Now we've got another one. Age 26. There he says great. Like, I'm starting to have governors basically every settlement. Tingi does not have one. I'm gonna have this guy walk out there and maybe he can drop some um, watchtowers on his way through as well. So, like, this would actually be a pretty excellent spot for a watchtower. There we go. And we'll have him just kind of move his way over to Tingi, dropping watchtowers. If we need to move him up to Spain, we can move him up to Spain. Whatever we need to do, it should work out. So, all of our buildings are in order. And uh, I think we're ready to end another turn. Careless, we will have taken care of that. And let's mark all of our messages as red. I don't think there's anything else terribly important. Still no attack from the Broody Eye. They're still getting hit by Macedonian assassins. <laughs> I don't know if it's succeeding. Alright. Okay, let's see what happens here. Uh, this is going to be a tough naval fight. It's a good victory, though. We'll take that. I'm pretty fortunate we made it out of that. I mean, there was certainly a possibility that I could swing the other way. Um, but, <clears throat> that having been said, <laughs> something tells me I'm not making it out of this one. But I don't know. Who, who knows? Average defeat. Alright, we didn't lose any ships, though. We didn't lose any ships. Maybe we can make it back to port there and repair. And it looks like the Britons are going to sally out of their settlement, which it is indeed a big walled settlement like this could be a problem for us, but if it is just uh, wooden walls, we should be fine. Get in here and fight this. It looks like wooden walls to me, but then again, I don't know exactly how barbarian settlements are depicted whenever they have larger walls. Nevertheless, I think this is a fight we should be able to easily win. The size of the walls makes a big difference, though. Like, if if you're sallying out of wooden walls where the towers don't do much damage, this is a... Yeah, and that's exactly what we have here. I'm going to drop all my rams. Um, then this is a pretty low-risk situation for us. AI didn't even deploy next to the gate where I'm at. Okay, well, they're going to have to pull a whole bunch of their troops over. I'm gonna, I see their cavalry massing at this gate off to my uh, right flank, so I'm gonna put some uh, Libyan spears out that way. Cavalry to support that. Something like this with my skirmishers. So skirmishers will get a bonus versus chariots, and there are chariots. This is going to be the uh, Barbarian Warlord. The Chariot's one of the options available. Let's see if we've got a warband there. Let's see. Yeah, the AI should start coming out of the gates. They have Swordsman, Warband. Um, I don't... I turn on the Indicator cards. Okay, good. Gives me an idea what uh, Swordsman look like. 13, 4, 4, 5, 4. 8, 11, 13, 4, 4, 5, 4. 6, 11, 13, 4, 7, 2, 2. They have better shield, better charge. But I have some stats that are better as well. It's like they have slightly better morale than I do. And they have a better shield. But I have better defense. Um, better defense skill. So, yeah, it'd be a fairly close fight. Gonna have a lot to do with morale. Are you all gonna come out here? Battle seems to be destined for a draw. I, I didn't say I wanted to leave. <laughs> Where did that pop up from? I've never seen that before. 
wanted to fast forward. Let's see if they're going to actually come out of the gate. Yeah, there they go. Okay, I guess they wanted the swordsman in the very back to be the first one out of the gate. Let's see if any of the others decide to exit. Okay, that was the catalyst, apparently. Here comes the chariots. Maybe they're smarter than me by doing one unit at a time. They don't get all crammed up in there. That's what I should start doing from here on out. Then again, assuming the AI is better than a player at anything is kind of a stretch, but you never know. Ah, oh, they came and attacked quicker than I thought they would. And they're routing as quickly as I thought they might. No, 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 don't waste your javelins. Uh-uh-uh. Don't you do it. Let's see if we can get a big blob route going here. Excellent. All right, we wrapped up the heavy chariots, kind of just overwhelmed them. There he goes. I'm going to wait for a few more of their troops to come out of the gate, and then we'll just rush in and take them down. So let's allow this to happen. So we got to let their guys sally out. Is this uh, round shield cavalry? Just a captain that's a part of that unit, but probably still don't want to get him killed if we can help it. Oh, there we go. That's actually a victory. I'm gonna chase him for a minute. gonna get caught fighting to the death. I wonder if I have to bust down the gate and get inside in order to actually capture the settlement on this one. Rather than just end up leaving the city sieged. I think I want to do that real quick. This will take a second, but I'm gonna go bust a wall down and then um, move in. Well, the addition of the skirmishers was helpful. Like I said, they're a um, they're a uh, anti-chariot unit. Combine them with armored spears and cavalry, and we end up in pretty good shape. Like they're coming back down here with this single warband unit. But just in case it weren't to come out of the gate, go ahead and batter the wall down. There it goes. And let's get in here and take care of business. You know, the cityscapes on this game are pretty cool. If the pathfinding wasn't such trash, it'd be pretty neat. I mean, I mean, it already is pretty neat, right? The way that you have all the choke points and stuff like that. Um, but, I mean, the pathfinding is really rough. Well, there we go. Won the battle. Hopefully we'll get an opportunity to promote the captain. That happens occasionally when you're running an army without a general. And, honestly, I should have tried that some in this campaign. Sorry, I was trying to hold out a sneeze there. All right, uh, we're gonna let's let's see what happens with the enslave. I'm gonna enslave the population. Yeah, it looks like there was another Britain army on this same turn, so they lost the siege, but then decided it would be a good idea to attack us again with a different army. This guy actually has the last name Barca. 
I like it. And speaking of bark, Britons do have some bark, and we will see whether it's worse than their bite. They do have some heavy chariots where their general is housed, and they do have a chosen sword unit here amongst others, like the swordsman. Or ban. Anyway, let's fight this. I think we've got it. I mean, I've got upgraded Iberians that also have silver chevrons. Should be fine. Unless I have a really solid commander here, and they do not. This should basically nearly remove the Britons from mainland Europe if I succeed here. Not to say that they won't be back or try again. A battle's never easy. But then it's not meant to be easy. It is a testing ground for men, for noble men. And even the lowest of us is ready for this test. All right. After the rousing speech, let's get busy. There is a bit of a ruin there blocking my main approach. Get deployed here. All right. Here we go. Go ahead and make our approach. Swing a little wider here. And we'll kind of hold a flank. Charge. You have chariots headed our way. What is this? Woad warriors. No, screw that. Get away. They have the scare effect. In fact, I might get routed because of that. That's not what I want right now. Didn't recognize the woad warriors at the beginning of that fight. Alright, we collapsed some of this out here. Give some... We need to intercept these Woad Warriors. I'm gonna collapse in on the Heavy Chariots. It's a bit of a risky situation over here, but I think we're okay because we've already wrapped up such a significant portion of the Briton force, and their general died on the charge. That sucks for him. Sucks for him, great for me. Probably gonna need some help against these Woad Warriors. They are pretty tough units. Oh, they have a chosen sword holding out here as well. I'm trying to see if I can get into the back of these chosen swords. Chosen swords are fighting like chosen swords. They are being very tough right now. But there they go. Ooh, lucky for me that Woad Warriors routed. I accidentally kind of clipped them a little bit with my general. No significant damage. Some interesting Britain units that they had in this fight that I didn't initially realize right off the bat. Woad Warriors are a cool unit. Um, and then they also had, you know, their heavy chariots here. I, I believe Woad Warriors have a scare effect. I could be wrong. Where are they at right now? They Did I kill them all? Here they are. Expert hiding woods, combat bonus in woods or snow, fast move. Oh, never mind. They just good stamina, fast moving, war cry, and they have a combat bonus in woods and snow. Just not this map. Go attack this regrouped warhound.
All right, let's mop them up, boys. And that should be good enough. Exit the battle. So two clean victories over the Britons. All in the same turn in. That is good. Happy to accept those results. Unlike that tougher fight we had against Egypt a while back, which was kind of a mess. See, we enslaved the populace, and some part of me thinks that we maybe should have exterminated them. I don't know. We end up with a little more population left, which is probably good. Um, so it gives me kind of a base to work from. I do need to replenish, and we can replenish all of our units here except for long shields. That is also good news. What can we train here? Brown shields, skirmishers, Iberians. That means we can retrain all these units back here, so let's go do that. Alicia is still happy. Unit's gonna retrain. Let's hit the uh, different buildings here. I'm gonna get rid of their sacred circle, build my own temple. Start trying to convert the population over a little here. Boy, we got money, folks. We are rolling in dough right now. We are rolling in it. These people keep rioting a whole bunch, then I'm gonna probably stick to the exterminate. The plus side is that sending that population around spreads it out amongst all my settlements, and theoretically helps other settlements grow that I need to grow. Um, so, I mean, like I said, I'm gonna try and feel it out over the next few turns and see if which one really seems to be better. I think I can retrain these two units now. No, I can't, yeah. All right, good, so we can finish retraining. And I've got peasants on the march. Down here. Try and build up the population a little. I'm gonna swing this unit over here to Cyrene. Cyrene. We're burning through the population at Cyrene pretty quickly, but you know, it's okay. Shouldn't be the end of the world. All right, this army has completed its mop-up of rebels out here. I think I'm going to give it a marching order to Demedi, at least for now. I may not enter the settlement because it has plague. And uh, with it plaguing right now, that's probably not a good place for my commander to be. But what I'm going to do is move a little further over here and build another watchtower so I can keep an eye on all of these areas. And then we got this commander who's busy marching over to Tingi again. Once we kind of get in between visibility points, I'll put in some watchtowers there. Let's try and keep an eye on things. Let's see what's going on in Italy. And outside Thermo, the Romans still have not attacked me, but oh my goodness, have they gathered up all their family members. This could be another one right here, too. I bet there's four of them. They have their faction air. It says just a general here. But there could be others. They have quite the force. They have quite the force outside Thermo. And these, um... Macedonian assassins keep trying to do some work on him for me, and quite honestly, I'm going to allow that for the number of turns, and I, I really want the Broody Eye to attack me there. That would be the ideal scenario, though it's not necessarily required, I don't think. Terran Tomb's still pissed if I leave. Okay. But yeah, Terran Tomb still needs the garrison here to help keep them from being too pissed off. Um, how about my fleet, by the way? Here it is. So this unit, um, let's see, we've got, we've got a decent ship right here. Let's pull it on in and retrain all these boats. Maybe drop an extra trireme in this fleet just to help get it back up to strength. I was busy escorting a general here, and I need to get him all the way to Massilia. Yes, mighty lord. Ready to sail. This is still a pretty strong fleet right here. Ready to sail. I think I'll mighty escort him lord. with this fleet. I'm going to take this fleet back to repair and rearm. There we go. All right, so I got one fleet on escort duty. Got a commander there at Carolus. 
we're splitting up nicely, making good income. Let's check our building browser here and get to work on trying to finish up our empire in its entirety. Let's see, Thapsus. Place is looking pretty slick. Large stonewalls. Let's get us a practice range because it's a cheap building we probably should have built a long time ago. Syracuse. I have a commander there, so let's put the academy in now. It's good to have those academies. Why do we have an auto-managed settlement here? Scalabus is on a very high tax rate. I mean, it's no wonder they're pissed off all the time. Change that to uh, just high. Alright, that'll help. If I see any others on that auto-manage, I'll check it out. Way to go, auto- I guess the auto-manage is probably trying to squeeze as many taxes out of him without rioting as possible. Maybe that's the case. I don't know. There's other benefits to lowering the taxes, though. I think that it helps speed your growth. Could be wrong about that, but if I remember right, that could be the case. Heavier tax rate means slower growth, I believe. Uh, it wouldn't hurt to put a dockyard into Massilia because we've been fighting big naval battles and the Julii aren't far from there. A better port. And let's see, Asuka. And let's see, Numantia. Nepte, there's nothing we can do there, but they've picked up some population feasibly from where we enslaved the, the Britons there. Cyrene, Tingi. We got lots of work going on. We got lots of work going on, but we have the money for it totally at this point. This is the only settlement that may kind of want to rebel against us. Pretty large Britain fleet up there with an army attached to it. Yes, mighty lord. I go over here and just kind of keep scouting a little bit of stuff. And found Deathstock's land. New merchant acquired. Good. Can Listen, I buddy. Of service? Yes, you can. I want you to go to somewhere where you can make some money and embed yourself there and stay. It's not bad trade, Nasca. Let's head to Asuka. All right. Got that taken care of. Let's mark all our messages as red. And let's end a turn. All right, we made it to... Oh, I should have put my army in over... Oh, they didn't counterattack. I keep thinking they're going to counterattack me. Come on, Macedon, assassinate some of those broody I... I can't believe the broody I aren't attacking me there. Britannia's probably wanting a peace treaty. Let us now talk reasonably. <laughs> oh, that's funny. They're like, hey, remember all that fighting we did? We, we didn't mean that. We just want to be friends. If I make peace with them, though, what do I do next, right? They're going to backstab me. I could go start fighting Germania, but then Brit Britannia is going to backstab me. Feasibly, though, if I make peace with Britannia, I could bring a couple of my army south and really focus on the Gauls and Julii. But I already have an army to go focus on the Gauls and Julii. And I have another commander on the way, so this ceasefire has no benefits for me. Until next time. It just deprives me of territory I need to win the campaign. Or at least makes it longer before I obtain said territory. Onward. So I don't necessarily agree that that is in my best interest. Well, we've got pretty good visibility over the desert here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to move up and kind of build a watchtower up in this area, too, just to kind of have eyes on the desert. The meaty still is plaguing. Probably doesn't hurt to go ahead and retrain some of these units. Oh, man, yeah, the cash flow is good. Cash flow is very good. Very good indeed. And let's see. Numantia. And some good stuff in Numantia. It has really grown. Nepte. So Spain is now just like an utter stronghold for us. Let's see. 
Cordoba. Port Siwa. Siwa, Siwa, Siwa. Um, but yeah, let's. It wouldn't hurt to have some. Let yours keep building up. Carthaginian culture there. All right, so the Britons have been beaten back. Do some retraining here. Let's leave those two out of it and focus on my own troops. We need to start to put together a town watch for this settlement. And let's see, Alicia. Safe. Our uh, mercenary to citizen program is going strong here. Service guarantees citizenship, folks. Um. And here, so really, it's kind of time to be at war with Egypt. Forward. Orders. Onward. I think we're in the territory of Siwa, though. Yeah, we are. Should be able to disband. Peasants to help get some extra population at Siwa. I think this guy too. Was it 744? I think. Let's disband. Yeah, it's working. It's working. Alright, so I've got my army here. I was still training some peasants. I really could use a skirmisher range. Let's build a practice range. Be nice to have that city barracks too. Get these armies appropriately armed. So we are most certainly not appropriately armed, but I do have a few mercenary units that are going to help me. If I do go attack Egypt, I might want to take both my armies together, but Siwa is probably in no condition to hold its own. Be lucky to even get enough troops out of there. I'm going to keep letting the peasants train here. Okay. Um, what else will we need to do this turn? All of our settlements are building... Uh, almost without exception. There's nothing we can do at Siwa and... Other one there, so... Um, busy retraining, busy retraining. Fleet is retrained. Anytime I see a Julii fleet, I want to attack it. Where possible. We need to hurt their ability to... Wow, they sunk one of my ships. A load of horse crap. It's this fleet trireme, so this one does not have any heavy boats in it. We Still gained ourselves some victories. Alright. Alright, we've got our extra commander up here. merge these. I may have to be at a port to do it, though. Um, okay. So, let's grab this garrison, step out of the settlement, get this army in. Let's disband our mercenary units. Except for the slingers and the cavalry, they're in pretty good shape. Let's go ahead and disband some of these units just to, uh, just because we can. Silly. So we got those units disbanded. Let's do some retraining. And we've got our commander. I'm going to put him into this stack just for now. And our extra commander could feasibly get an army out of Massilia as well and help us in northern Italy. Speaking of Italy, I can no longer fit my army here and the garrison, so they really need to hold their own. 
which they can at this point. That's good news. And cancel that ship because my fleet's no longer there. And grab another town watch. I don't really want these settlements on auto manage. The auto manage tends to do a poor job for the most part. Maybe. I say that. I shouldn't say that. That's too much of a blanket statement. It probably does fine in many situations. I mean, let's be honest. The auto-manage versus me actually managing to manage everything successfully. I, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll give it better chances than I initially did. Got a port blockaded at Syracuse. I think we are ready to end another turn here. Yeah, just making sure we got a retraining set up. Death stalks the land still. Let's mark the messages as red. Rudy I are uh, allying with Dacia, thinking that it's going to save them. I, the Broody I are going to be in bad shape if they don't attack me soon. Got here, large army of Germanians. Oh, they got screeching women. That's such a cool unit. <laughs> Bunch of angry women with meat cleavers. And they have this like war cry thing they do before battle. Yeah, it's it's pretty awesome. Screeching dismays the enemy. <laughs> oh gosh, that's good stuff. What up, Germania? Look, just don't attack me, okay? Then we good. I don't know, maybe they can't attack me. I probably have the troops for it now, because Britain would have to uh, come and invade me. So it would probably not be in Germania's interest to attack me. Come on, fight them, Macedon. Tear them up a little. Whoa! It isn't the Julii. Oh, you didn't. You didn't, you cowards. Oh, what a bunch of cowards. Look at this. What a bunch of cowards. I may try and draw a ceasefire with uh, the Britons. And make Germania pay. That is a dastardly, cowardly showing there. Go treat with them. Mighty General. Sire. Let's see what this does. Yeah, this place is gonna be pissed off. Why can't you just turn taxes off? Feels like it would pretty much solve the situation. Uh, I'm gonna risk a rebellion there because I need to get on this Germanian force quickly. They're gonna have potentially more forces coming towards me as well. Um, let's just get down here onto the Germanian force. So I'll risk that and then I'll swing this army. I think what I had was... Something like this. That'll work. I'll leave some force to garrison, some comes with me. Yeah, that'll work. I'll swing up this way. Um, Alright, so Germania has betrayed us. Or I say betrayed us. We never really had much of an agreement with them anyway. But, nevertheless, they must die now. Go ahead and upgrade all these units. Once this army is rearmed and re-equipped, we have slingers here. Hmm. Libyan spears as well. We can get sacred band. Takes a couple of turns though. Might grab a couple of Libyan spears. Um, from Massilia. Here, this fleet. 
I mean, we should have enough strength to go after the Skippy-Eye here. Ready for Let's drive them back. Ready to sail. We'll head into port. Sail, Lord. Aye, my Lord. sail home. Let's keep ship one ready. ship up here. Aye, my Lord. In case we need to run a passage. Just kind of move this ship around to keep me from getting the inactive report there. So we got war with Germania. And I'd like to get a battle in with Germania before the end of this episode. But I think I'm probably just about up on time on this episode. So war with Germania has come. Um, I'll see if I can get a temporary peace with the Britons. Oh, the Julii. Let's fight this battle before we end. Tertius Aquilius. So he is just a general for the Julii. He's rocking Principe and Hestadi. Well, some Equites and Sam Knight gladiators. Sam Knights are some pretty cool looking gladiators. But uh, I don't think he's going to do so well against uh, General Hannibal of Carthage. No Romans have yet. But who knows, maybe he'll be the trend breaker. We shall see. The enemy are here. All right. They are ready to meet their gods. Take up the sword and be ready when the moment comes to fight. Oh, we're ready. Carthage is born ready. Ain't got to get ready. Born ready, ain't got to get ready. All right, here we go. Let's get our hoplites out of formation. And I'll leave them on skirmish for now. And I'll leave General Hannibal in a support position behind the main force. There we go. Let's approach the Roman force. They're going to have a slightly better terrain position than I will. I have the superior skirmishing force, but they have the terrain advantage. Move up just a bit so I can get in slinger range. Slinger range is pretty short. They're going to YOLO me. Go ahead, YOLO away. <laughs> Idiots. All right. Um, so, Roman YOLO zero, Carthage one. Next. That's what the AI gets for its YOLO behavior. Comes a Principe unit. <laughs> yeah, the Principe is like, nah, you know what, we're, 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 we're okay. Oh man, this is impassable terrain somehow. Yeah, it sure is. That's weird. Right, they got a cavalry auxilia making its way down here. If they YOLO, they're going to end up in the exact same boat as their uh, brethren did previously. Alright, my slingers are getting some shots in, so gonna let it happen for the time being. The Romans are kind of reforming endlessly and not really sure what they want to do. I'll let my slingers get some work done. I mean, why bring light infantry if we're not gonna let the light infantry do their job? I'm not gonna spread out, although I probably should. It's only one Velite unit to three units of slingers, so it's gonna be getting pummeled. Oh, here comes the Roman general. And here comes YOLO number two. Nope, they called it off. Intelligent move. One of the few the Romans have ever made. My slingers are getting some, uh, some nice cat and mouse action here in this game. This unit over here is getting plenty of shots, and so we're gonna we're gonna mop up some of their velites. Might as well use our ammunition. We got it. 
didn't bring it to battle not to use it. Get rid of the Roman Light Infantry screen. See if we can force another YOLO mistake by the uh, Roman General. Our skirmishers are set to, uh, to skirmish. So, theoretically, they should fall back before being charged in the face. But of course, that was only just a theory. However, the trap still worked rather nicely. And the enemy general plows straight into heavy spearmen in a phalanx formation. But hey, YOLO. There he goes. So the Roman general, um, every bit as intelligent as I expected. Unit regrouped behind us. I just have a uh, Hannibal's general unit take it out. I'll just use the rally before the charge. Should lessen the chance of Hannibal being killed in combat, though he is up in the thick of it. There he goes. Oh, we might have a Cav Auxilia YOLO coming here. Oh, we got some Prinkipay. They're going to huck their javelins feasibly into my slingers, but now they're going to turn... Oh, they're going to do it. All right, that's fine. Again, if the slingers absorb the Pila, it's not great, but it's better than my Sacred Band absorbing it, so they're doing their job. Go ahead. Feel free to jump into battle against my Sacred Band head-on. Again, they've rethought their life. Upon seeing the foolish decision that they were in the process of making. Man, I love having the Slingers. This is a very effective screen against all these Roman shenanigans. Ends up working out rather well for me. Absorbs Pila. Trades fire with their Velites. Lures their generals in. I and mean, I am very much okay with this situation. The Romans are like, no, 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 no. Nope, nope. We don't want that heavy infantry charge. It's okay, turn your backs and run off. You're just gonna get peppered with rocks. This is so odd, the AI behavior here. Like, if they would just commit to this fight, they would do better than what they're doing now. This is something that's been true of um, Total War AI for a long time, though. Alright, I'm gonna give these guys an unpleasant surprise. Keep corralling them in with my sacred band. I had to drop a phalanx. You just got to keep a close eye on your phalanx and make sure and get the uh, the order in. There's a hot key for it as well. But you want to get your phalanx right up in the Roman's face before enacting the phalanx formation. That way they don't have time to throw Pila. There we go. And so it works. That is how you do it with the phalanx. That's a phalanx charge, essentially. Like, you just you run up into their face, force them into the engagement they don't want. And when you have the skirmish supremacy, it's obviously quite easy to force said engagement. So I'm going to just pull my cavalry in and start mowing these down. Oh, there was a Triari unit in here. Let's take a look at them. Really cool looking unit, Triari. Same thing with uh, Rome 2. Really an excellent spear unit. I hate saying good things about the Romans, but credit where credit's due. Oh, good, we routed the Triari too. Go ahead and get after it then. Let's get Hannibal up here to run down some of these Romans as well. Kind of 
keep running this down. Get over here. Get in there and run them down. I'll just run next to them. We're not trying to give them a ceremonious escort here. We're trying to send them to Hades. I like this battle. I have a lot of tools now. We've got the light infantry screen. I've got cavalry to support the wings. I've got heavy hoplites in the middle, in the center. I've got a more maneuverable uh, heavy infantry support on the flank. It's also good against cavalry, but decent against infantry. So I like the flexibility that this current army gives me. It's it's quite nice. So I'm gonna exit this battle, and we have a triumphant victory here. And there is nothing the enemy inflicting can do mass casualties on the Julii. So we'll end the episode here. That is a fitting end point. And uh, one that you all should enjoy, hopefully. <laughs> no, I enjoyed it. In any case, uh, I will be back with some more soon. Please continue to leave your comments and thoughts on how we proceed. I uh, do hope you are enjoying the campaign. As I have said before, I'm going to... Do a quick retrain on this army. Didn't take much here. There we go. Anyway, I'll see you on the next episode. Air of Carthage, signing out.